controversial character in Norwegian history. King Olav declared Norway a Christian nation and invaded from over the North Sea. He attempted to uh, convert the pagans who worshipped Odin and Thor and uh, Freya and all of the other old Norse gods. Uh, he was unsuccessful. He was killed in battle. Uh, but, well, he's the predecessor of Olaf Haraldsson, uh, or Olaf the Holy, uh, who eventually did succeed in uniting uh, Norway under Christian rule. So uh, he's celebrated here, and uh, we're going to take a picture so we can take him back to America with us. There we go. A picture of Olaf. Olaf Tryggvason is, of course, the subject of one of my favorite rock albums of all time, Landkenning by Glittertind. And uh, in that awesome album, they talk about the great battles that occurred between the Norse Vikings and the Christian Vikings. And they don't make Olaf out to be a very nice guy. But, uh, well, them's the breaks. Anyway, from here, it's onward to Nidarostolmen, which is a little bit that way. I can just see the pinnacle, the pinnacle. Now I can see the, uh, the tower. It's a big point, pointy, pointy tower. One of the things that I am consistently impressed with about Norwegian cities is the smell. You would think it's a big city, it would be full of garbage and it would smell, but it doesn't. It smells nice. They have flowering trees everywhere, so you walk around and you're like, mmm, food shop, mmm, flowers. It's just, it's just nice. Ooh, fish fountain. We have found the great fish fountain of Trondheim. Fabled in stories. Uh, the fish fountain is said to give good luck to uh, people looking for fish. That is not true. I made that up. It's actually much better for people who are looking for bacon. Ooh, this is cool. Let's get a picture of that. We'll just wait here for five seconds. The camera will take one for us. Trondheim Tinghus. Statues and cool wall decorations. Good times. Statues everywhere. I like statues. I just think I just think they're neat. So there above the tree line you can see the point of Nidara Stolman. Majestic. I think it might rain. But you can never really be sure here in Norway. Because the clouds threaten and then nothing happens. Or it looks fine and then all of a sudden you're soaking. So, hard to predict. It was crazy up in the islands. So it was like, surprise, mother... And then all of a sudden there was rain everywhere. Style pictures. Stand still, everyone. This is super cool. Ooh, old graveyard. It's kind of spooky here. You know, they say Adonis uh, Dolman is uh, haunted by the ghost of a monk whose throat was slit. I don't know if it's true, but we're going to go on a ghost hunt while we're here. And uh, I'll try to get some some photo or video evidence to prove whether or not there's a ghost in the Dara Stolman. Oh, it's perfect. Everything about it is perfect. 
from the trees to the statue. Good, good lord. Good lord, man. That's just crazy. There's like a hundred statues in there. And they're not all uniform. They're like every one of them is individual. Let's get a better view of that, shall we? Wow! I mean, really, wow. Come here, Pidgey. Ah, you're fine, Pigeon. I'm not here for you. I'm here for the cathedral. Okay, this will be a very good picture.